Claire, what are we making this week? A diorama. That's right, of Jesus in the desert. Let's get started. Cool. So this Sunday is a really short reading. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by you coloring the pictures. So after Jesus had cured Peter's mother-in-law and a whole bunch of other people, uh, Jesus felt the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, calling him into the desert. What's the desert like? No water. No water, usually, yeah. No water, or at least no precipitation, no rainfall. You think it's hot or cold? Hot. Yeah, down in there. Super area. hot. Yeah, in that area, it's really hot. So the Spirit called Jesus out into the desert. You know how long Jesus stayed there? For 50 nights. 40 days. And 40 nights? Yes. It's a long time. And where's his water and food? He was fasting, so he probably didn't eat anything for those 40 days. He was tempted by Satan, but he was ministered to by the angels. Then his cousin John, the baptizer, was arrested by the authorities. Why was he arrested? He wasn't doing anything wrong. That's right. They were threatened by John. How? Because John was bringing change. John's whole job was to be the forerunner of change. He, he, he went ahead of Jesus and said, hey, guys, change is happening. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. So that's what John did, and John got arrested. For just giving people change? Bringing change. And really, that's what Jesus did. He reminded us that man doesn't have any power over us. It's God that has true power over us. So anyhow... Jesus then went into Galilee and he was like, hey, this is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. You know what gospel means? Mm -mm. It means good news. Jesus said, repent and believe in the good news. So this is what really Lent is about. It's about the 40 days of Jesus in the desert. So we're gonna make our diorama of the desert to remind us about our fasting and our almsgiving and our time of prayer. If we're called to be like Jesus, then you think we should fast also? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to actually like take an airplane and go to a <laughs> desert to experience Lent. We can experience Lent uh, right here at our homes and where we work and where we go to school and stuff like that. Da, 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 da. Great job, Claire. I love it. That's an awesome Jesus. Go ahead and start cutting out your desert scene with your cactus. What are a couple of things that we can give up at Lent? Well, you can give up some kinds of food. You don't have to give up all food, but maybe you can give up ice cream for Lent. You can give up some of your favorite toys to your baby brother. That's what I am going to do. All right, and we'll just put a glue dot on the back of the cactus and peel it off. And we'll put this, where do you want to put this, Claire? Right here? Right here. Right there? Mm -hmm. all right. And then you'll take your other glue dot I'm going to put it right on Jesus' halo here, on the back of Jesus' halo. And then we'll put Jesus right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> All right, now, stuff you say that. So go ahead and spray some shaving cream in there. All right, now mix it up. Mix it in there. And you can put as much or as little of the shaving cream in the box as you want, but just make sure you get it all mixed in with the sand so that all the sand gets shaving creamed. Mm. All right, this is a one uh, go and a one-time craft. After you play with this one, it's just gonna turn into sand again. Mm. 